Hey, have you started the 560 homework yet? Yeah, kind of, but you know, there are so many questions that require the calculation of that exponential of matrix A. Yeah, yeah, I, I just had a lot of trouble with that. If only there was somebody that could help us. Yeah. Looks like someone needs help. Sounds like a time for super nerds! Super nerd! Ooh, super nerd! What's your problem? Oh, we've been trying to find the matrix exponential, but... It's just so tough. I don't, I don't yeah, understand. it's really been tough. Yeah, so easy peasy. You can use it using Laplace. Laplace? Yeah, Laplace. We have e power a t is equal to Laplace inverse of s i minus a inverse. That easy. See? And how does that come about? Like we just we just try to memorize it or something? No. Okay. Uh, you must have done this in class, didn't you? No, you didn't. Mm, huh. I think so, Sumit said something about this. Right? Huh. Okay, let me let me show it to you in a different method. So consider a linear time invariant system. So x dot t is equal to a into x t. Good. Yes. Mm. So you can use the Laplace transform to convert this into Laplace domain. So x of s, s into x of s minus x of zero is equal to a into x of s. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So just bring this over to the other side, s i minus a into x of s is equal to x of 0. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you can take the inverse Laplace transform to convert this. Oh wait, first you bring the s, s i minus a to the other side, s i minus a inverse into x of 0. Now you can take the inverse Laplace transform to convert this to x of t, which is equal to Laplace inverse of s i minus a inverse into x of 0. Now you'd be wondering, how does this all come about? All right, so you have seen in class that the state transition matrix can be written as phi of t 0, right? Which is also for a time invariant system, e power a t. Right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And now we showed you that the state transition matrix in written is Laplace inverse of S minus A inverse. Did I say that right? Yeah, oh, so. uh, that makes uh, sense. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So we can write phi of t0 is equal to e power a t is equal to Laplace inverse of S minus S i minus A inverse. See? Easy peasy. Cool. That was cool. Yeah. Oh, why don't you try? Oh, I think I'll try it myself. Okay. Let us take a t equal to 0, 1, minus 1, 0, which gives me s i minus a as s s minus 1 here and 1 over here. You're good at this. Now we get s i minus a inverse as 1 by s squared plus 1 as this. And then That's finally. Nice. We'll calculate the Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse as. Uh, what was Laplace inverse of S oh, by S plus it's, um, it's a co cosine. I think you can do it yourself. I think you know it better than me. Oh, okay. Hmm. So uh, Laplace inverse of S over S squared plus 1 hmm. is cosine of T sine T minus sine T uh -huh. cosine T. Oh, it looks like you guys are getting the hang of this. Yes, yeah, better now. Thanks to you, Super Nerd. Thanks, Super All Nerd. Bye-bye. Right.